So I've been having some problems with the mass airflow sensor on my truck. It'll occasionally just randomly pop up a check engine light and I know it's the mass or the mass airflow sensor because I've read the code and that's what it's there for. So I put a new pigtail on and that didn't solve anything. So I took the mass air sensor off and I'm gonna do some work to it. And today we've got a live audience. I don't know where he's going. So, this is an aftermarket mass airflow. Um, I got it off eBay. I'll post the picture of where I got it from here. And it's been great up to this point. The engines run really well with it. Um, the stock one that came on the engine, I assume it was the factory one, um, started giving me some check engine codes as well. And I didn't really feel like opening that one up. So I bought this one. And now that this one's doing it, and this is no longer my daily, it's just my fun truck, uh, I figured I'd work on it. So, some of the internals are going to be a little different from what I've seen than the stock one. I've not taken my stock one apart, but from what I understand, this little micro switch here is going to be a little different on the factory ones. But as far as like the wiring and stuff, it's all going to be the same because, well, all the pinouts have to provide the same information as the factory one, right? So, you have your kind of like a big potentiometer right here for how much the door opens so that's something to look at is the tension of these two little fingers pushing down on these two little traces um, I suppose that could be a wear point like it is on like a fuel level gauge I've had to repair those before and it's the same concept but for me my problem was that these two pins here, or these little, whatever these are, pins I guess, the solder joint broke on them. So there's just a tiny crack on those two pads there. So I re-soldered them, and I presume now it's going to be good to go. And I went over, and I did this one as well, and while I was at it, I took all these sockets off, flipped them over and looked at them, and I noticed that some of them, the wire was just like... Normally at the back of these sockets, that's where you crimp it down on the insulation to hold the wire. And then there's another set of tabs here that you can crimp down on the wire. Well, the wire was back here. The insulation was not crimped down at all. So that wire was just barely being held in. And so I went along, fixed that, put the wire back up in here, tried to crimp it down the best I could, and then I came along and soldered all those pins. But if you're having problems with one of these mass airflows, they're incredibly simple. If you know how to do some soldering and are generally mechanically um, well-minded, then this is a very easy thing to get in and fix. Again, for me, it was just those two pads being broken and I resoldered it. But hopefully this helps some of you guys out. No more check engine light.